So today I'm going to look at a video by smacking the wall. Women hitting the wall. 139. I'm not demure. It will get domestic. If anything, be mindful of that. Mm -hmm. Be mindful. She might take one of them eyelashes off and ninja star throw it at you. That's a racist. That's racist? It's just a DV waiting to happen. Can we be honest for two seconds? For two seconds, let's talk about these little things right here. You making it look like your, your forehead is like this big right here. Stop with that. Every dude you break up with do not miss you. His new girl got that Gok Gok 3000 and Super Soaker. You gave him coochie for Christmas. She gave him a Miri's. Her credit score was 750, yours are 200. Girl, bye. So if you were about to be dropped off on a desert island, what are three things that you would take with you? Your girlfriend. She's much prettier than you. I made my last alimony payment this month. It was... You guys were married for eight years? Yeah, wasn't so in California... It's half the time it's ha married. Unless it goes to 10 years and then it's indefinite. It's up to the After judge. After 10 years? Yep. If we'd been married for 10 years, it would be an indefinite amount of alimony uh, up to the judge. And um, that payment was assessed based on my earnings, of course, but also there were no like stipulations about her needing to work ever. Get the right woman. They're all beautiful. At least that's what my wife tells me. You gotta make sure you got the right one when you're still courting her. Or don't listen to me, what do I know? So you paid alimony for four years? Yeah. Four years, yep. okay. Uh, she didn't work the whole time? I No, not since we even got together. Damn, why are you so excited looking, bitch? She didn't work the whole time? At all? Shh. Damn, that's a cold warning right there. All you gotta do is look around at all the guys around you, the guys in your life, and calculate how it's gone for them. And you don't have to make the same mistake to figure it out, you know? You know you could structure your water to heal you just by speaking to it? Skinny with a big booty, big titties, long eyelashes, clear skin, and financially stable. And what man is that for? It isn't for no man. It's for other women. Not that she's attracted to women. She just wants the other women to think that she's whatever, whatever. Because that's a woman's whole life. What other women think of her. Babe, babe, don't. Babe, don't. <laughs> Make a babe. <gasps> babe. Now my, my makeup is gone? No, no. Are you sure? Yes, yes. The funny part is you're dating her, bro. <laughs> What's her name from Lord of the Rings? Smeagol? She deserves your love, bro. Just don't bring her with us when we go out to hang out. It's still there. It's perfect. Are you sure? It's really good. I am still beautiful. Of course. Nice. I'm going. I am only attracted to wealthy, generous men who provide for me. That's all I've ever dated in my entire life. It's that's a lie. She she gave that coochie to uh, a pool boy, a cabana guy, a couple of times. She all all women have. Stop fronting you. And and if a dude with a Snickers came up and he was younger, she'd jump his bones. Give me a break. It's all I ever would. I'd rather be single than split bills. What are you bringing to the table besides your body to these men who are taking care of you? You'd have to ask them. Well, I'm asking you. I don't know. You'd have to ask them. They're the ones who want to date me. So from your perspective, what do you bring? Me. So what does that mean? I mean, you'd have to ask someone who loves me why they love me. I'm not a mind reader. Most of you girls, you're not lovable. You're porn hubbable. There's a difference, boo. It just is what it is. You're very beautiful. But can you close the door on your way out? Shh, 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 shh. Thank you. I assume you know what you bring to the table of the relationship, right? Somebody loves me, then, and I love them. To me, this Asian girl sitting next to you, she's got you because she's younger than you. Suki, would you tell her to shut the fuck up? I mean... So you don't know what you bring to the table? I don't really give it that much consideration. Essentially, you're just giving them sex and then in exchange they're giving you money and that's it? Well, hopefully what not. Well, then what else is there? I don't know. You'd have to ask them. People not have speak like systems in their cars no more. Like speakers like 215s, 312s, 5'6". You pretty. Take off that damn Chinese people hair though. I thought y'all didn't like Asians. Kamala Harris is Asian. And you gonna wear Kamala Harris's hair? I thought you didn't like her. Come on, my dog. Come on, not mine. I don't hear that no more. I don't hear me. No, no. You don't hear the trunks rattling no more. I ain't heard the trunk rattling all summer. Where's all the where's all the dudes at with the hound? With the but the box Chevys, the Caprices, with the speakers and the tweeters. What they call the tweakers or the tweeters, the little speakers that go by the old shit bar. Bring back the 90s. Them guys are married. These girls 
Bro, no, you still a teenager, bitch. In your mind only. I see them wrinkles. That's probably why she wearing a Chinese people hair hat. Her hair, she got a, the official Kobe Bryant haircut underneath there. Them dudes is gone, married, family, mortgages, couple of car notes, kid probably on his way to college. You should have got one of them dudes back in the 90s, dummy. You gonna have a minivan and they had 12 15s back here. Six 12s beating the damn block down. And they... Quest Van. <laughs> Y'all remember the radios that used to slide the little screen? Used to this chick is lonely. She don't have nobody to talk to but her phone. That's what she's doing. She's talking to herself to the phone. To to nobody. She not a content creator. She just a dumb chick. Lonely and dumb chick. You could have been married in your 20s but you had to be a lonely and dumb chick now i might not be much to look at but i fuck like the government damn and the government bent us all over a woman is gonna do what she wants to do Get that through your head. It ain't nothing you can do to stop it. It ain't nothing you can do to change her. That's true. Now let's see where young blood goes. You feel like you gotta go into a full prevent defense to stop her from doing something to mess up y'all relationship. Then you need to leave. You in a relationship with her and you just now realizing she's gonna do whatever she wants to do? I'ma let him keep going though. All the good things that you have to offer her, if she don't wanna receive it, let her lose it. Two things. He is afraid to let her leave. That's why he's you gotta have this conversation with him in the first place. Two Two, he's certain he not gonna get another chick because he don't know how he got this chick. That leads us into this over here. Has anyone else noticed that guys have no idea what makes them attractive? And girls don't either. When you talk to enough people, you start to realize that both genders have a super skewed idea about what the other gender is looking for. For example, guys see attractiveness as being a much more objective thing. Studies suggest that male sexuality is much more hardwired in. Like, if you get together a bunch of guys from completely different backgrounds and societies and different ages, and you give them some pictures of women to rank, their answers would be pretty consistent. And they project that and think that that's how women work. Like, if you drive the right car... Wait, 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 wait. There's a reason for that. There's our moms, who don't tell us everything that they already know about women. Then there's our sisters, who don't tell us everything that they know that they are as a woman. Then there's the women who we actually end up being in a relationship. Like this dude. She ain't telling him all that there is to know about her. It's just a relationship. We may not even be together. Well, allegedly, because married people don't tell each other about, you know what I mean? Like that's who you could be the least truthful with is your spouse. Or at least that's what America has been telling us. But that's not how girls work at all. Women respond very, very strongly to social cues in general. What women find attractive, both in themselves and in the other gender, is way more context-dependent on the society that they live in. So if that previously mentioned perfectly buff rich guy is just kind of awkward and kind of quiet and doesn't have any social finesse, he's not really going to catch that many eyes. Instead, it's stuff like being charismatic and cultured and funny and, I'm not gonna lie, having that prestige that really draws eyes. You need confidence to be able to do those things. Break it down right quick for you. Charisma or being charismatic. You have to have some type of belief in yourself to even believe you're not just a normal NPC. Being cultured. You have to have confidence to know other cultures are just as good as your own culture. Are you trying to learn other cultures? Or do you just feel like... America, fuck yeah! Then being funny, you have to have a level of confidence to even believe that you're funny because you're going to get hecklers. You got to have confidence to push through the hecklers. And as the women are listening to this, they're like, yeah, he's right. But they don't know that it's called confidence. They just know that they like when a guy has confidence. Funny and I'm not going to lie, having that prestige that really draws. That prestige, it takes confidence to have that because a lot of people get big headed or they even fizzle out under the big lights. I think that's also why girls are always a little bit intrigued by players. It's because if so many other people see something in him, then there's got to be something there. The perception is that the player kind of has all of that stuff. But he's really confident in whatever it is that he does. Whether it's what he, what he drives, or even if you don't have any money, how he looks, or even if you're not that handsome. 
how he's built, or even if you're overweight. If you're average, but you're confident, you're like Brad Pitt out here. Excuse me, uh, I couldn't help but notice that you were looking in my direction. <laughs> oh, yes, I was. You just ordered these same exact lunch as me. <laughs> my name is George. I'm unemployed and I live with my parents. <laughs> I'm Victoria, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Boop, 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 boop.